Greetings, fellow seekers of the eerie and unexplained. Today I bring forth an account that still sends shivers down my spine, a tale that intertwines the realms of the living and the spectral. It was a dark and stormy night when I, an avid explorer of the paranormal, stumbled upon Ravenwood Manor, an ancient edifice veiled in the shadows of the past. Armed with my camera and an insatiable curiosity, I ventured into its foreboding embrace. As I crossed the threshold, the air grew heavy with an ominous presence. The very walls seemed to whisper ancient secrets, and the flickering candlelight cast dancing shadows that toyed with my senses. My lens captured the mansion's haunting beauty, yet with each click, a gnawing unease gnawed at my core. It was as if the house itself dared me to uncover its forbidden mysteries. Descending into the bowels of Ravenwood Manor, I stumbled upon a forgotten chamber, a place untouched by the passage of time. There, amidst cobweb-laden relics, lay an ornate box exuding an eerie aura. Drawn by an irresistible force, I opened the box, unveiling a centuries-old journal. Its yellowed pages chronicled the tragic fate of the manor's inhabitants, victims of a sinister curse that bound them to its spectral halls. As I read the chilling accounts, an unearthly chill crept into the room. Shadows slithered and twisted, coalescing into ghastly apparitions that toyed with my sanity. In a desperate attempt to flee, I found myself lost in the mansion's labyrinthine corridors. Whispers echoed, taunting me, while ghostly figures materialized, their anguished faces etched with sorrow. With trembling hands, I sought refuge in a forgotten chamber, hoping to evade the malevolent spirits that prowled Ravenwood Manor. Yet there, I encountered a sight that froze the blood in my veins, a mirror reflecting a haunting visage, my own eyes replaced by soulless orbs. It was then that I realized I had unwittingly become a part of the cursed narrative that plagued Ravenwood Manor. As the mirror's grip tightened, an ancient incantation echoed in my mind, a chant that sealed my fate within its spectral confines. Though I escaped physically, the echoes of that night linger within me, a constant reminder that the line between the living and the ethereal is far thinner than we dare to believe. And thus, I share this cautionary tale, a chilling testament to the bone-chilling horrors that lurk within the forgotten walls of Ravenwood Manor. Fearing the spectral fate that awaited me, I delved deeper into the ancient journal, seeking clues to break the curse that ensnared me. Each page unraveled a new layer of despair, hinting at a tragic ritual that sealed the mansion's inhabitants to an eternal existence. Driven by desperation, I retraced my steps through the haunted corridors, my heart pounding in rhythm with the chilling whispers that echoed around me. Shadows danced malevolently, taunting my futile attempts to escape their spectral grasp. Yet, within the crumbling ruins of an abandoned library, I discovered a hidden parchment, an incantation that promised liberation from the cursed fate. With trembling hands, I recited the ancient words, channeling all my willpower into breaking the spectral chains that bound me. As the incantation echoed through the manor, an otherworldly light engulfed me, shattering the cursed mirror's reflection. Reality convulsed, and with a deafening roar, the spectral apparitions vanished into the ethereal abyss. Emerging from the ruins, I found myself standing outside Ravenwood Manor, the night air crisp and free from the suffocating grasp of the curse. The ancient house lay silent, its haunting legacy finally laid to rest. Though haunted by the memories of that fateful night, I emerged physically unscathed, carrying with me a harrowing account that serves as a stark warning. Ravenwood Manor, once a beacon of terror, now lies dormant, a testament to the power of perseverance and the relentless pursuit of liberation from the spectral clutches of the past. To all who seek to unearth the secrets of forgotten edifices, tread carefully, for the thin veil between the living and the spectral can ensnare even the most intrepid souls. And thus I bid you farewell, leaving you with the chilling echoes of Ravenwood Manor, a tale that shall forever linger in the annals of the unexplained.
It was a mist-laden evening when I stumbled upon the forgotten manor, its imposing facade hidden amidst the overgrown foliage. An intrepid explorer armed with a keen curiosity, I ventured forth, eager to uncover the secrets veiled by time. As I crossed the threshold, an unsettling stillness enveloped me, the air thick with an ominous foreboding. The creaking floorboards echoed a haunting melody, and the dim candlelight cast dancing shadows that seemed to whisper cryptic messages. With my camera as my guide, I captured the manor's haunting beauty, each snapshot immortalizing the eerie grandeur of the decaying estate. But with each click, a gnawing unease tugged at my senses, warning me of unseen perils. Venturing deeper into the labyrinthine corridors, I stumbled upon a forgotten chamber, untouched by the passage of time. There, amidst forgotten relics, lay a weathered journal, a chronicle of the manor's tragic past. As I perused its yellowed pages, an unearthly chill settled in the room. Shadows swirled and coalesced, forming ghastly apparitions that seemed to beckon me into their spectral realm. In a desperate attempt to escape the encroaching terror, I found myself ensnared within the manor's twisted corridors. Whispers reverberated, mocking my futile attempts to flee, while ghostly figures materialized, their mournful gazes piercing through my very soul. Amidst the chaos, I stumbled upon a room adorned with an ancient mirror, its surface reflecting a chilling visage, my own reflection distorted into a sinister, soulless image. It was then that I realized I had become entwined in the malevolent grip of Whispering Pines Manor. The mirror's reflection seemed to pull me into an abyss, an unseen force determined to claim me for its spectral domain. With trembling resolve, I sought refuge in a hidden alcove, desperately seeking a means to sever the ethereal ties that bound me to the haunted manor. There, amidst forgotten tomes, I discovered an ancient incantation, a whispered plea for release from the cursed embrace. Summoning all my courage, I recited the arcane words, hoping to break free from the spectral chains that ensnared me. As the incantation echoed through the manor, a blinding light engulfed me, dispelling the malevolent forces that had sought to claim my soul. Emerging from the manor's grasp, I found myself outside, the night air tinged with a serene calmness. Whispering Pine's manor stood silent, its haunting legacy fading into the mists of time. Haunted by the chilling memories, I carry with me an account that serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the perilous thinness between the known and the spectral. And thus, I share my encounter, a tale that echoes the spine-chilling horrors that linger within the forgotten walls of Whispering Pines Manor. It was on the eerie night of October 31st, at the stroke of midnight, when Sarah and I dared to approach the infamous house perched atop Hollow Hill. The moon hung hidden behind a shroud of ominous clouds, casting an eerie glow upon the desolate mansion. As the clock struck twelve, we crossed the threshold, the air thick with an otherworldly chill. Dust motes swirled in the dim light that struggled through the cracked windows, painting ghostly patterns on the decaying walls. With every footfall, the floorboards groaned, echoing through the desolate halls, and a sense of unease settled deep within us. Sarah's grip on my arm tightened, her fingers trembling, betraying her growing fear. The house seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy, as though it awaited our arrival. A feeble flashlight barely pierced the oppressive darkness within, casting elongated shadows that danced menacingly around us. Whispers, faint yet sinister, reverberated through the air, sending a chill down my spine, as though the very walls harbored malevolent secrets. Abruptly, the feeble light flickered and died, plunging us into an impenetrable abyss. Panic surged as Sarah's terrified screams tore through the silence, her voice a plea for salvation. I reached out in the darkness, my heart pounding, but an unseen force tore her away, leaving an eerie void in its wake. Alone in the suffocating darkness, an icy dread enveloped me. 
Unseen footsteps echoed, drawing closer, and a sinister presence loomed, tangible yet unseen, its breath chilling my very soul. Finally, with trembling hands, I managed to resurrect the feeble light. The ghastly scene that met my eyes remains etched in my nightmares. Sarah, suspended in mid-air, her contorted form writhing in unimaginable agony. Before I could react, an invisible malevolence tore her apart, her anguished screams rending the fabric of my sanity. Haunted by the echoes of her torment, I fled the cursed mansion, the date and time etched in my memory as the night when the chilling symphony of Sarah's agonized cries echoed through the desolate woods, marking a night of unspeakable horror. As I stumbled through the darkness, my mind engulfed in a whirlwind of terror. The woods seemed to amplify the haunting symphony of Sarah's anguished cries that lingered in the air. The date, October 31st, infused the night with an otherworldly dread, as though the very fabric of reality had been warped by the malevolent forces lurking within the house on Hollow Hill. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, I emerged from the suffocating grip of the woods greeted by the dim glow of distant streetlights. The time, the witching hour of 1 a.m., weighed heavily upon me, a chilling reminder of the horrors I had witnessed on that harrowing night. As I stumbled toward the safety of civilization, the echoes of Sarah's torment gradually faded into the night, but the memory of Hollow Hill and the haunting specter of that date and time remained etched into the very core of my being a constant reminder of the inexplicable terror that lurked within the accursed mansion.